this smells like Figment's fart. <laughs> what the hell is that? No, the, oh, eh. <coughs> Thanks, Santa. Are you in for something totally disgusting today? Are you ready to see something gross? What's going on everyone? Dave K here today with an exciting video. We have a combination today of a mail time. I'm gonna start off with some of this mail that you were so kind as to send me. Thank you so much for sending it. And some of that mail contains the second part of today's video, which is a candy cane taste testing challenge. Now you might say to yourself, Dave, a candy cane taste testing challenge really doesn't sound that bad. Do you not like candy canes? Well, I would have said it sounds totally fine to me until I heard some of the potential flavors. We're talking coal. We're talking pickle flavored. These are going to be gross. They're going to be disgusting. It's a candy cane viewer challenge by you. It was Kelly's idea to send me some gross candy canes. Thank you so much, Kelly, for the disgusting, nasty candy canes. And a bunch of you excited for it, getting behind the idea so you know I had to partake in this challenge. And before I get into it, I do want to say that I may have agreed to do a taste testing challenge for random meat jerky sticks like kangaroo and stuff if this video gets 100,000 views. I think there's almost no chance of that, so I'm not worried, but just letting you know that that's on the table here. If you like this sort of video, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know. I'm so excited to share this with you. Thank you so much for the mail. Let's get started. The first items we'll begin with were the loose items. Mike opened his mail and there was some mail for me inside his mail. This Disney gift card from Jackie. Jackie, thank you so much for the gift card. And I believe this pin also from Jackie. You've got Stitch with the coconut and this is a Cars gift card. So thank you so much, Jackie, for thinking of me, for including me in the mail. Love the gift card and the pin. I love Stitch and I do love Hawaii and that beachy Hawaiian feel. So both fantastic items. Thank you so much. And let's continue to the next item. That was an easy one, right? It was already open, so nothing involved there. In addition to the gift card and the pin, we have our own manila envelope from Jackie. Jackie, thank you so much again for thinking of me. Let's see what's inside manila envelope package number one. I know it's not candy canes. Maybe it is. Maybe you're adding to the candy canes before I even get there. Let's find out. And we have a card and a cloth feeling item in there. Thank you so much. Let's see what's inside. Those two stickers there too. Look at those Disney stickers. Love those. You know, we need to start with the card addressed to David. That's me. You can call me Dave, David, Davey, Davey Jones. Just don't call me late for dinner. This birthday card has you and it has cake. The only problem is it's quite a journey to find our way to the cake. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get there. If I'm gonna even end up with it this year or if I have to wait till next year to get some cake. Dave, hope your birthday is amazing. Oh, amazing, love it. Thank you so much, Jackie. Thank you for thinking of me. I asked someone and they said your birthday is in October. I hope it's great. Well, you are correct. My birthday was in October. And thank you so much for thinking of me. I'm a little bit slow on my mail time because I was traveling. If you haven't seen those Texas videos, check them out. But thank you so much for thinking of me, Jackie. And you also sent me a, I don't know what this is. This is a wrapped clothy thing. So let's see, let's see what's inside. I don't wanna mess up Puma on there. Let me see if I can just pull out the item from the sides. How about that? Ooh, what do we got? Ooh, ooh, is this socks? Oh, would you look at that? It says, on one sock it says, I'm gaming, and you have what looks like maybe a classic Nintendo controller, SNES controller, and the other one says, do not disturb. And that's the part on the bottom of the sock where you step to give you traction. Love these socks. I'm gaming, do not disturb. Thank you so much, Jackie, for thinking of me. You're right, I am gaming and do not disturb. We'll have to get some more gaming streams going one of these days. It's been a while, because I'm trying to catch up with the editing and the work and all that other good stuff, but we'll get back to it eventually. Thank you so much for all this very kind mail and on to the next item. I guess I could try on the socks, but that, that might be weird in a vlog, right? That, that might be weird. By the way, a few of you had mentioned maybe a more entertaining backdrop. I heard it a few times and I figured, let me try a new space. So thank you for Mike allowing me to use his space and share a fun background with you because you know 
I don't have any fun decorations. I'm just boring. Totally boring. Let's open the next box. From Cat. Meow. Thank you so much, Cat. Thank you for thinking of me. Let's open box number whatever number we're on. This is not the way to cut a box. If you look at the angle, this is the exact way not to cut a box. Towards myself with some weird backhand grip, just, just don't do it that way. This is more appropriate, FYI. Here we go, here it is. Oh, would you look at this? This looks like some birthday wrappings as well. I feel like some people may have gotten clues that it was my birthday, thank you so much. Inside the box we have a letter. One letter is correct. One rolled up cylindrical object. One rolled up cylindrical object present. We have one Millennium Falcon shaped Star Wars wrapped item. We have one ovular cylindrical, also cylindrical like the first one, but smaller cylindrical Star Wars wrapped item. And we have one mm, long and thin item wrapped in here. And thank you so much for thinking of me. Let us open these things. Card first. Dave K. Okay. For Dave K. Boom! Look at this beautiful ornament. You've got Star Wars ornaments here. Hopefully you can hear me because now I blocked my face with the ornaments. Very nice. Very cool. Fuzzy. Chewy. You've got the R2-D2 kind of droidy. You've got the Death Star and he's sparkly going on. I love that. Nice attention to detail on the Star Wars card. And inside it says Hey Dave, happy holidays. I hope you like your presents. Thank you so much, Kat, for thinking of me. I'm so excited for them, and I'm sure I will love them. Thank you again. I've enjoyed watching your vlogs this year. They are very funny. I'm so glad you're entertained. The goal is to be more funny, entertaining, and do silly, unique stuff. I'm worrying less and less about what is the object that I'm capturing, and I'm trying to think more about the subject. What am I doing that's especially entertaining, wherever I may go? So hopefully you like that. Thanks. I hope 2021 is so much fun. You know it'll be so much fun. Thank you so much, Cat. Your friend, Cat. Cat, thank you so much. And may the force be with you, by the way, as well. As written in the card. May the force be with you as well. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Happy holidays to you. I hope you have a fantastic holiday season and a new year. And thank you so much for thinking of me. And thank you all for being a part of the fun with me. I'm so glad you've enjoyed the videos. Okay, let's open some stuff. Boom! Item numero uno is going to be the long, poor descriptive words item. The long and thin kind of thing going on. Unfortunately, my tape removal was not on point on this one, but it happens. Ooh, this one is in a... Ooh, what is this? What is this? So this one has some Star Wars words written on it in some Star Warsy language. It feels like a spork. What the heck? It's a spork! Wow, that's awesome. Wash before use. This is an actual usable spork. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at that right there. The spork <laughs> with the spoon on one side and the fork on the other side. I feel like that's probably the smartest way to make a spork because you got a good amount of depth there. Look at the depth. So you can get some real spoon action going on, but also some fork component if that's what you're going for. Really, really cool from the Star Wars universe, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Thank you so much, Kat, for thinking of me. Let's keep this party going. Next up is the smaller cylindrical item wrapped with some scotch tape, which I can't seem to remove without tearing off some Stormtrooper faces. So excuse me. Excuse me for that one. But we are almost opened it. <laughs> this middle part is the toughest part. I think I'm just ripping the wrapping paper on this one. It is great wrapping paper though, I must say. I love the red and white Stormtroopers. Boom! Inside the wrapping paper. Wrapping paper that looks more like the white paper... What is this paper? Whatever, whatever kind of paper it is, here we go. Some kind of paper. It's a really small item. You thought it was this large cylindrical object. It's like rock sized at this point. Oh, it is a Millennium Falcon. The irony, the Millennium Falcon shaped wrapping paper does not contain the Millennium Falcon. Look at that. Very cool. I think this one lights up. If you can see that. Yes. Red. And then it goes off. And then it goes blue. And then it goes off. And then it goes red and blue. And then it goes off. And then it goes green and yellowish. And then it goes off. Lots of color choices. This is a lot of color choices. Oh, look at that. Now it's doing like a, a light show in there. This is awesome. Really cool. Light up Millennium Falcon. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Beautiful. I am excited to light up the night with a Millennium Falcon. Thank you. 
I feel like the largest object should be last. So let me go for the Millennium Falcon shaped object, but I might be off because this one's kind of heavy. So we'll see. And if you thought I wasn't gonna win on the wrapping paper on the other stuff, forget about this one. Forget about it. Oh, what is this? Is this a card game? Whoa, this is a game. This is a card game. Sabak includes 62 cards, two dice, and instructions. 10 plus two to eight players. Wow, open here on the side and we'll learn how to play inside. Perhaps the galaxy's oldest and most popular card game. Sabak is played in a bewildering number of variations. There's green, red, and white cards. There's two, zero is pure Sabak. His hand wins. We'll find out how to play this game. I'm excited to figure it out. Thank you so much for thinking of me with a very unique card game, Sabak, from Galaxy's Edge as well. I'm imagining, I think, probably. I mean, that would make sense. Thank you so much again. Really nice, unique. I'm gonna check that out. We'll let you know how the game goes. And last, and certainly not least, from this box, we have a, another paper-wrapped item, but not the Star Wars-y paper. This one's kind of heavy. Ooh, it's, I thought it was a mug. It, is it a mug? <gasps> oh, would you look at this mug? Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Beautiful mug right here. Let me see if I can give you a better look at that mug. Absolutely amazing. You've got your Ewoks on the side coming around to you. That's right. You've got your at, -AT or is it an ATST? It's an ST right here, right there on that side. Oh my gosh, absolutely love it. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Amazing, beautifully decorated. In the sky, are you noticing the TIE Fighters? You're noticing the Death Star up there? That's right, that's the Death Star. And the X-Wings, oh my gosh. This is an amazingly beautiful mug. I love this. Thank you so much for thinking of me. All so much fun, beautiful stuff. Appreciate you. fantastic. Now the question is, how do we get the wrapping paper out from inside the mug? Because that's a little tricky as well. It's a little tricky. Oh yes, got it, look at that. Not easy to withdraw, but it worked. There's the inside of the mug. Oh, perfect. Yes, I'm excited for it. I wonder if this is for hot beverages or just cool ones. Enjoy some delicious water right out of there. Maybe some juice. Oh, looks so good. Thank you so much. Yay, yay for cool stuff. So the next box is from Kelly. It's not the candy cane box, but it's the box I was advised to open before the candy cane box. Yeah, let's, let's see what's inside. And I know Kelly sent me these candy canes, but many of you played a part in deciding which candy canes I was gonna try and those sorts of things. So thank you so much for being a part of it and just having fun in general with the vids. And let's see what's in the pre-candy cane box. Here we go. Ooh, nice. This is really cool. Check out this 36 ounce bottle of candy. You have everything from Hershey's Nibs, Hershey's Kisses, you've got Kit Kats, and oh, is that a pumpkin pie Kit Kat? Oh, that sounds so delicious. I've never tried any of those special ones. Hershey's Biscuits sounds really good. Kit Kat Snack Mix too. They've got a variety of deliciousness within these boxes. Look at the amazingness within. That's so exciting. Thank you so much for sending me this delicious looking candy variety. And this bottle says, Mr. Burns Hydration Canister. Mr. Burns Hydration Canister. In case you were wondering, I'm Mr. Burns. Sometimes you'll get curious or excited about a video and You'll ask me for spoilers, and I'm waiting for you to see the video so you get more excited for it. And I say to myself, excellent, excellent, excellent. <laughs> and that is why I'm Mr. Burns. Everyone agrees that I'm Mr. Burns, evilly holding back exciting video information for you to be surprised by the video itself. And I know you wanted that excellent meme, so that's what it's there for. You want to meme my excellent Excellent pose. Well, there it is. Beam it up. Beam it up, Amber. <laughs> Enjoy. We also have zombie Skittles. So most taste delicious, but some taste like a rotten zombie. Dare to try? I heard that someone tried these and they were gross. They were totally disgusting. And who was it who said that they tried them? Was it Kelly? A rotten zombie taste can be hiding behind any of these colors. I'm, I'm worried about that. I feel like this might be gross, might be disgusting, but I'll give it a shot and beware, beware 
the rotten zombie Skittles. Thanks. That's, that's, <laughs> why would they do that? Why would they do that? Give you gross stuff mixed in. You don't even know which one it is. So after you've tried it once, you can separate them out. There's no way to know. Come on, what's that about? And there is a letter. You are so corny on the back and it's corn. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I do like my corn popped personally. I don't know about you, but I think popped is probably my favorite variety. Uh, I do like it cooked like more typically, but, but popped is the best. <clears throat> Dave, happy birthday, Halloween, Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's right around where my birthday is. I know it's a lot of sugar, so share. <laughs> Kelly, thank you so much, Kelly, for thinking of me, for sending some delicious, plentiful sugar and the Mr. Burns hydration canister. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so much for thinking of me. I've got the water canister for the candy cane taste testing, but I also have another cup of water because you know I'm always hiding a cup of water off stage. Whoopsie, in case you didn't know, there's always a hidden glass of water behind the scenes. Ooh, shh. And we have one more ginormous box from Christina. This one weighs 18 pounds, almost 19 pounds. Thank you so much, Christina, for thinking of me. I think I'm going to open this one from the ground and pull the items upward. <laughs> but just so you know, with the size of this box, I'm thinking to myself, maybe, Dave, we've waited so long for you to get a car. Here's a car in this box. <laughs> That's how huge this box is, almost 19 pounds. And it's probably about the size of my torso. So it's huge. Thank you so much for thinking of me. It says, happy birthday on the wrapping paper on top of it all. Thank you so much. Yay for my birthday. And let's open it up. Ooh, look at all this swag here. Keep your gift a surprise. There's a letter on there, a gift for you. Nice. Thank you so much, Christina, for thinking of me for my birthday. This box is full of loot. Thank you. So should I start with this one right here in front of me? I guess I should, because they're all wrapped very nicely, like this bag is. So let me open up the letter and read the letter first, because that only makes sense, right? There is no letter. There is simply an Amazon return information stuff in that envelope. I didn't read what the item was, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the item, but in case I guess I wanna return it, that's what that is. So thank you so much for thinking of that as well. Look at this beautiful bag. Oh, the note maybe is in this little thing on the side. That, that's more right, right? This thing, a gift for you, probably has the note inside. Let me read that. To Dave, hope you have a fantastic birthday with lots of love from the Chiaco family. Chiaco family, thank you so much for thinking of me. Perhaps you all compiled together to send this one box. I wonder if that's what happened here, maybe that's what happened. That would make a lot of sense. But thank you all so much for thinking of me. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, T Forte single steeps the perfect measure for the perfect cup. Sounds like 28 pre-portioned loose leaf teas. That sounds amazing. You know I enjoy my tea. And so I'm so excited to give this tea a shot. Thank you so much for thinking of me, Chiaco family. And I'll be sure to let you all know how this is at some point. Ask me in a stream sometime when I get back to streaming someday. Ooh, this is what it looks like on the inside. Absolutely amazing. Black tea, white tea, green tea, oolong tea, herbal tea, and organic. All symbols clearly demonstrated in the upper right-hand corner. You have all the individual bags at the bottom, the individual loose leaves. That's really, really exciting. I'm excited to give this one a shot. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Yes, yes for tea. Next one, says David, in a brown envelope, and it's a gray bag. I'll read the note first. Ooh, and there's an Olaf sticker on the back. Look at that Olaf right there. Love it. Thank you so much. Olaf wants to build a snowman, but can I safely remove everyone's favorite snowman? Ooh, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I did it. I think we're good. Yes. I didn't make the whole envelope, but I did safely remove everyone's favorite snowman. In case you're wondering, there he is. There he is. Nice job, Olaf. You made it. All right, let's read the letter. This one has a Magic Kingdom on the front. Love the Magic Kingdom Palace. Happy birthday, David. Thank you so much. Jackie, here are a few food items. Oh, spoilers. It's food items. From Massachusetts that people go crazy over. The jelly fruit slices originated in Boston. That sounds awesome. Thank you so much. I'm excited for it. And fluff is a staple around here. Fluff? Especially during blizzards. Fluff and peanut butter sandwiches are basically what I grew up on. Enjoy and have a great birthday, Jackie. Thank you so much. Thank you for thinking of me. 
And let's see this fluff. Is this just a bunch of fluff in this bag? Or is there something substantive? <laughs> it's just a bunch of fluff. Seriously though, I'm envisioning that fluff is like that marshmallow whip stuff you get at the grocery store. Is that something that is different, maybe? We'll see, we'll give it a shot. So many birthday presents in one box. Thank you all so much for thinking of me. This is amazing. The box never ends. You all are too kind. Got together to coordinate the shipping. I love it. Oh, marshmallow fluff. I don't think I've ever tried marshmallow fluff, but it does sound pretty tasty. So we'll give it a shot. And these look familiar. Look at these Boston fruit slices right there. I have seen those before. I've deliciously enjoyed some fruit slices before. If you haven't had them, bam, tasty stuff. Thank you all so much for thinking of me. This is going to be a very foodie food stuff time of foodie for Dave. Thanks. Next one is a manila envelope that says Dave. Another envelope. You know we love our envelopes. Let's do it. This is awesome. I'm just saying it's awesome. That is all. Number one, number two. Is there a number three? No, this is just a really thick number two. Number one. Let's start there. A manila envelope from unknown individual. Here we go. Look at that pumpkin. Nice little pumpkin letter. It looks like it might be somehow three-dimensional. It kind of opens, oh, would you look at that? It opens like this. That's how I'm gonna read this letter. Dear Dave, happy Halloween. The letter says, dear Dave, happy Halloween. Thank you so much. When witches go riding and black cats are near, the moon laughs and whispers, Halloween is here. Ooh, spooky. It says, happy Halloween, your friend. I'm not 100% sure, I think. Maybe, totally, possibly, it's a C or an A for starters. I will see if I can figure it out and include that here. Thank you so much for the letter and maybe part two has to do with you as well. So let's find out. We have an envelope in here and a happy birthday, Dave, your friend, Christina. Christina, thank you so much for sending me this card. I'm excited to read it. Was it your name on the other thing? I'm not 100% sure. Let me read it. This one looks just like the other card, so I'm gonna guess the answer is yes. It was Christina on both of them. Thank you so much, Christina. Birthday wishes, love it. Beautiful three-dimensional card, by the way. If you look at that, it's got the toad that comes off inside. You can see the action in there for the birthday wishes, love it. So, so cool with the little metal snail on there. Beautiful engraving, absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Christina, for thinking of me. And there's one more envelope in that same series of envelopes. Let's read it. Colombia, gem of Spanish restaurants. Colombia is maybe the one in celebration as well. Oh my gosh, Christina, thank you so much for the Colombia gift card, the gem of Spanish restaurants. I feel like Colombia, I think I had the wrong side facing you. I feel like Colombia is the one in celebration. So maybe you're telling me that I really need to try that Colombia restaurant in celebration. I'd love to give that one a shot. Thank you again so much for the very kind gift card. You are too kind. Oh my Josh. Appreciate you. And we're gonna have to try Colombia. That's gonna have to be a vlog coming up. This might be a while because I'm still working on editing quite a few videos, but one of these days, Colombia will have to happen. On to the next birthday bag. Happy birthday, David. Oh yes. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Thank you all for thinking of me. This is all amazing. I was not expecting this birthday fun here. Oh my gosh, you're too kind. Let's read it. Ooh, goofy card. This card is just goofy. <laughs> David, happy birthday. Enjoying the videos. Saw this beef jerky and thought maybe it would be useful in a future video of taste testing. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Enjoy, Dawn. Thank you so much, Dawn, for thinking of me. Happy birthday to you from Goofy and from Dawn. Thank you so much, Goofy and Dawn. Appreciate you. It's just Dawn. Goofy's just posing for the photos. Everybody's favorite photo celebrity. Oh my gosh, Dawn, you're too kind. Let's uh, let's see this beef jerky in here. Did you did you send me the variety meat thing? Let's let's find out. Oh, this is truly beef jerky. You didn't do the crazy thing. That's cool. That's cool. I might do that at some point. We'll see. The premium brand Sweet Baby Ray's Sweet and Spicy Beef Jerky. I'm not gonna lie. Now that sounds amazingly delicious. Will we try all this food here today? I'm just thinking about it. I'm like realizing this is gonna be a lot of food if we try to try it all with the candy cane thing. Maybe I'll save it for another point in time. But oh my gosh, there's multiple flavors in here. I thought it was just the one. You got teriyaki, you got original, you got sweet and spicy, and you have David's. Oh, and there's a honey barbecue. Oh my gosh, I was missing some flavors. And you have David's 
Ranch Jumbo Sunflower Seeds. Beautiful stuff. So many packets of beef jerky in there. Thank you so much for thinking of me, Don. Appreciate you. Those sound delicious. We'll give them a shot sometime. Happy birthday, Dave, from your friend, Kelly. Kelly, thank you so much for thinking of me. Oh my gosh, you all got together and compiled these things. Oh my gosh, you're too kind. Appreciate you. And let's see. Oh, ho, ho. would you look at that? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns is saying excellent right there in his Funko Pop box. Thank you so much again for thinking of me with the Mr. Burns, LOL. That, uh, that seems about right. And I like it. Very cool. Looking Mr. Burns in there. Let me see what else is in this bag and then do my own excellent pose. What the heck is going on here? What the heck are these? Everybody's sending me these crazy style of jerkies. We have elk cheddar burgundy snack stick and a smoked venison sta snack stick. Thank you so much. Should these be added to that challenge when I try challenging? These are these are fairly standard. There's not not crazy unique because they are still deer style foodies, right? I'm, I'm not really sure, but it sounds delicious. Thank you so much for thinking of me. So much more in this bag as well. Wow, I feel feel like I already ate too much. There's a bunch of little snacks in here. Look at this, Lando Lakes Hot Cocoa Mix. Ooh, that sounds good. And there's a bunch of those flavors in there too. Would you look at that? You got the hazelnut and the French vanilla as well. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. And you have the sriracha flavored almonds. That sounds intense. It sounds crazy. It sounds delicious. Oh my gosh. And there's two of them. It's not just the one. There's two. Hope you're ready for spicy life. And one more item from Kelly. Look at this amazingly delicious looking camouflage hot sauce. That looks like it's going to be very spicy, but probably very delicious. You know, it's going to be totally fantastic. I'm excited to give it a shot. Thank you so much. And I realize I didn't show you each and every beef jerky from Dawn. So let me show you all of those flavors here. They look similar. So I was saying to myself, ah, they look similar enough. I don't need to show them all to you, but you know what? I should, I should show them all to you because it only seems reasonable to make it consistent. You can see all the delicious snacks. Thank you so much all for thinking of me. This is a lot of food. Wow, oh my gosh, yum. Dave from a Tampa Bay Buccaneers bag. Whoa, hold on a second. We're making a statement here tonight. Kat, thank you so much for this bag and for this Krispy Kreme gift card. I feel like y'all are just trying to make me chubby. Is that what you're trying to do here? Like, y'all are like, Dave, we need you to eat some sugary stuff and get real chubs. You're, you're already pretty chubs, but get a little bit more chubs. <laughs> thank you so much, Kat, for the Krispy Kreme gift card and this beautiful bag. And thank you so much for thinking of me and being a part of the fun with me. Appreciate you. Wow, this is huge. I was not expecting one huge bag full of birthday presents. Y'all are too kind. Amazing. Totally fantastic idea. Thank you so much. Next up, we have the Tampa bag itself. You can't have a Tampa bag without some Tampa Bay big stuff inside the Tampa Bay bag. I don't know. I love the consistent happy birthday wrapping paper here. Someone was planning ahead. Thank you. Look at that. That's what it's looked like, wrapping paper-wise, throughout the bag. That's right. That's right. That's right. Boom. Is this Nutella? Oh, bone-sucking sauce. That's a hot sauce, everybody, or a sweet sauce. I'm not sure. It's safely secured in bubble wrap and plastic wrap. Look at this. We're talking serious, hot, bone-sucking sauce right there. Wow. Barbecue sauce sounds delicious. Thank you so much for thinking of me. It sounds familiar. Have I heard of this brand before? It's totally possible. I'm not sure, but we'll see. See what happens. And there's a second bone sucking sauce in the same bag. You must be confident that this is amazingly good stuff. Thank you so much, Kat, for thinking of me. I'm excited to give it a shot at some point. We're talking serious bone sucking sauce. Oh, this is the non hot one. Okay, this is the normal one. Good to know. This is a very heavy bag at the bottom with the balloons wrapped on it. Says David, note on the front. Let's open this one up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. David, happy birthday. I hope you have a great one. Since I live in rice country, hold on a second. I thought you might like some different kinds of rice. Ooh, that sounds interesting. I'm excited to give him a shot. Hope you can enjoy them. The gold is my favorite. There's a gold rice? Oh, that sounds awesome. 
Enjoy your day. Cake tier, Shelly. Thank you all so much for being a part of the fun with us. Enjoy your day in a big way. Thank you so much, Shelly, for thinking of me, for sending a huge bag of rice. <laughs> I'm excited to give it a shot. Let you know what we think. This is going to be tricky to open. I'm working on it now. Not easy. Being green. Ooh. You are not joking around with this rice. Look at that sushi grade rice right there. That looks nice. Enriched medium grain rice for sushi. You have the yellow bag right here. This is the gold. The enriched long grain rice. Wow, that sounds awesome. I love this rice collection. So unique. Such a great idea. You've got the enriched long grain rice jasmine. The purple one. Okay, jasmine rice. There it is. There it is. You've got the brown rice. The brown medium grain brown rice. Yeah, you want to be healthy with your brown rice? There it is. There it is. Okay, okay. That's good stuff. Good stuff. Growing for good. Oh, this is books about the rice. Or maybe it's just notepads for you to be able to take notes. It is notepads from Rice Land. So you can journal about how delicious your rice is. That's awesome. Thank you. Rice sensations. Is this how to cook with the rice? I bet you it is. Looks like it is how to cook with the rice. That's awesome. Thank you so much. And certainly, not least, we have the basmati, a romantic rice. Yes, the green bag. That's right. All five rices right here. Thank you so much. Love it. Wow, what a birthday unboxing. Thank you all so much for thinking of me, for sending these extremely kind gifts, and for being a part of the fun with me. You are too kind, and let us enjoy such fun adventures together in the coming months and years, many more years to come. Appreciate you being a part of it. So glad you enjoyed the fun. And now it's time for the candy cane box. I gotta open that box. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the moment you've been waiting for, this is the candy cane box from Kelly. That's where we're at in the night, in today's adventure. Let's give it a shot. Here it is, time for some candy cane fun, or maybe not so fun, we'll see. We have a couple of bags here, yes we do. We have this one, and then we have a sock. Big ol' socky sock. You got the sock and the bag. Which one's it gonna be? Let's find out. Start with the bag, I think. This is Michelle's day 10 present for the 12 days of Christmas. Give to Michael, please. Okay, so this is not for me. This box is Michelle's day 10 present. Love it. Thank you so much for thinking of Michelle. Okay, let it snow bag. Not for me, but the sock. Now that is for me. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Wrapping paper up top makes sense. More wrapping paper and a note. Here's a note. Look at the really cute baby Yoda on the back and beautiful handwriting on the front too. Wow, look at that. David. David, yes. Important message for you. David, from the baby Yoda who I'm trying not to damage at all. Nope. Nope, he's not gonna be damaged. He's gonna be perfect. He's gonna be totally perfect. Totally perfect. Hold on, baby Yoda. We got you, buddy. We got you. Yes! Yes! Baby Yoda intact. Would you look at that? Oh, yes. Where am I gonna put that, baby Yoda? Don't know yet. This card has plenty of laughing, smiling people. They're all very happy and smiling and laughing. Good luck, Dave. Don't hate me. Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Thanks. We'll see. We'll see. See how gross this is. See how many views it gets. And then we'll see. Candy cane challenge rules. You can smell the candy cane, but you still have to try it. Part of the candy cane must go in your mouth. Okay. The answer is on the tags attached, but you must take a guess before you look. Okay. So try it. Guess look. Okay, we can do that. The goal is to reach the bottom of the stocking for a prize. Oh, sounds great. I'm sure I'll reach the bottom of the stocking. We might change locations somewhere with a little bit more space so you can see my full reaction to the disgustingness. Ugh, ugh, ee. We'll see how this goes. I'm excited. Here we go. Candy cane challenge. Thank you so much. Oh my god. In case you were wondering, there are so many candy canes in this bag. It's crazy. I was sitting here thinking like, oh yeah, there's like five, ten candy canes, whatever. No, 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 no. This is like 60. I guess we'll find out how many it is. Okay, I'm ready for this disgustingly gross challenge. Let's grab our first candy cane and see how it goes. Okay, it goes smell, optional smell, taste, guess, and then read what it is. Here is <laughs> the first one. It's green on green. I like that look, making me think maybe a green apple. 
something nice and easy like a green apple I'd really enjoy. It's a little bit broken right here, so I'm thinking maybe I'll just eat the broken piece, but that is a big piece. So maybe I'll have a smaller piece than that and break off a little bit from the broken piece. So I'm not eating too much because this is a lot of candy canes for me to eat through, especially in one night. Maybe this should be a multi-day event, we'll see. Candy canes are always tricky to open, you know? It makes you wonder, how do I unwrap this thing, you know? I just break right where the plastic, oh, there we go. Okay, it smells like green apple. I'm pretty confident that this one is green apple. I'm gonna take this piece that was already broken and break it even more. Give myself a nice, small, triable piece and we'll be off to the races. Here we go, green candy cane, giving it a shot. I'll let you know what I think. I feel like maybe it's a very faint green apple. Not a particularly strong flavor, but still probably green apple. So I smelled it, I tried it, I guessed green apple. Let's open this letter and see what it says. Probably says green apple. I'm still working through the candy. We'll see. So it's taped up inside of this section and the flavor here is watermelon. Oh, it's watermelon. I thought green apple, you know what? Watermelon probably actually makes more sense, so. Watermelon is our flavor, in case you were wondering. Not bad, it's a very faint flavor, but not gross, not gross by any means, totally fine. Still working through this watermelon one. Takes a while to eat these. Here we go, next candy cane, I'm gonna take an even smaller piece because that was too much of the last one. I'm gonna break off a little piece. I think that's the best way to open it. I'm not sure I can find another way. This one's yellow and white. Just looking at it, I'm thinking maybe lemon, thinking maybe probably lemon. Let's hope it's lemon. Not something like pea. We'll find out in a minute. So I guess I'm just breaking off a piece from the front of it. I'm not sure if there's a better way to open these. That's what I'm doing. It smells like lemon. Smells like lemon. Looks like lemon. It must be lemon. Let's find out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Strong lemon flavor. This has got to be lemon. It's got to be. Mm. Interesting. This one is lemon head flavor. So lemon, lemon head, I mean, it's gotta be close, right? Overall, solid one. You know I'm more of a watermelon person than I am lemon, I think, or maybe not actually, but I like the lemon candy cane quite a bit. Nice flavor to it, strong flavor. Okay. <laughs> the next flavor is a little bit scarier. This one's brown with some white in it. It's brown candy cane with the white stripes through it. I'm hoping coffee, a chocolate, something normal, something standard. I'm hoping it's not something like, hmm, you know, like poop. Let's find out. Having a harder time breaking this one. Oh, there we go. Oh, this smells different. Does not smell like chocolate. Doesn't smell like poop, but it doesn't smell like chocolate. It reminds me of, the smell reminded me of something. Not quite a licorice? Let's find out. Hmm. What is this flavor? What is this? I know this, I've had this before. Something very unique though, something very strange. Not a Tootsie Roll. Almost like a licorice, but not quite a licorice. I feel like I want to say licorice. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. Yeah, I feel like my best guess here is licorice. I'm gonna open it up, see what it is. It's it's a familiar one. I'm sure I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, once I read it. But we'll find out. Root beer, root beer flavored. Yes. Okay, that seems about right. It doesn't taste exactly like root beer, but it tastes like the candied version of putting root beer in a piece of candy. Like the, the Barks, I feel like they had an A&W or Barks can't, piece of candy they used to give out. Tastes like that. I like it, not bad. 
Okay, that one was root beer. Here's a brown on brown on white. Again, same potential good options, same potential bad options. Let's give this guy a shot. This smells like chocolate. Smells like chocolate, still potential risk that it's poop flavored, but it smells like chocolate. Let's try it. Yeah. I think you're going for like a deeper fudge type chocolate. Mm-hmm. 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 Interesting. I wanna say you're going for chocolate. Let me let me take a look. Oh, it's hot cocoa flavored. Oh, that's fun. Nice. I like that idea. I can see hot cocoa. Yeah, it's more creamy than standard chocolate. Maybe with the marshmallow pulled through it. That's how you're getting hot cocoa. I like that. Interesting, interesting choices so far. All great flavors, no complaints. Having a lot of fun here. Let's keep this party going. Next candy cane to try is a deep dark red one here with a black and yellow stripes going through it. Could be scary, could be scary, but looks promising. Maybe a cinnamon, something spicy most likely. We'll find out. Ooh, smells like cinnamon. Pretty sure that this one will be cinnamon. Let's give it a shot. There it is. Yeah, definitely cinnamon. 100% cinnamon on this one. It's intense, but not too intense. Not bad. Let's read. Hot tamales. Oh, this is a hot tamales flavored. Okay. Hot tamales, very interesting. Similar to cinnamon, in a way. I think hot tamales are cinnamon flavored candy, right? So, a lot of similarity there. Okay, five pretty solid ones so far, you know. Everything's good, no complaints, feeling great. Let's keep going. The next one has a no peeking sneaking or shaking on it. No peeking. Something or shaking, I'll find out, but I don't wanna open that. But this one is white and it's got orange and yellow on it. Uh, very thick, maybe gonna be a little bit harder to break. Maybe it'll be an orange, um, or it'll be a throw up, or like a vomit flavor. We'll find out. Let's go. Ooh, that smells like a orangey cream soda type deal. Definitely an exciting thought. Let's try. Mmm. Yeah. Hmm. I want to get at least one guess right. I want to get at least one guess right. So I'm trying to figure this one out for real. Mmm. 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 Come on. Pina colada. Pina colada. That is my guess right there for this flavor. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the flavor of today is pina colada. Ding, ding, ding. We got a winner. Dave gets one right so far. We're six deep, I believe. I got one for sure. Maybe more if you count some of those other ones. Pina colada, not bad, thicker, which made it scary. The note made it scary too, the peeking, sneaking. But we're all good. Nothing to worry about there. Let's grab another one. This one looks good. This looks like a cotton candy or birthday cane. Something delicious. Let's open this one up. And this one seems a little bit easier to unwrap. These ones that are like long like this. I don't have to just break it and then pull through. I can instead unwrap it. That smells good. It smells like candy cane or something delicious like that. Breaking off a small piece because I can't eat too much of these tonight. But here it is. Excited to give this one a shot. You saw it already, I think. There it is. Pink with some red and blue. Cheers. Probably gonna be my favorite flavor here. Let's find out. Hmm. I might be losing my sense of flavor at this point. That being said, I'm pretty confident this one is cotton candy. It's got a subtle cotton candy feel to it. Not extremely candy flavored, but I like it. Let's, let's, let's read. Are we right with cotton candy? Survey says, 
Cotton candy, ding, ding, ding. That is two for two for Dave. Love it, cotton candy, not two for two, two of like eight, but you know, it's a start, it's a start. Okay, I think we have 17 more to chew through. I'm gonna see if I can get them back in semi order that they were in because I pulled from one side, so I'm just putting back the opposite direction. So things should clear up perfectly, but we'll see. Kool-Aid ones I'm excited to try. This yellow one, there's, there's a lot of solid choices here. We'll find out in a minute. See how all amazing they are. But our next one in the queue here, I think is gonna be this. One that reminds me of peppermint. It is a classic looking candy cane, look at that. The white with the brown and green and red, yes. Standard classic. You know this one has to be a winner. I'm gonna love it, gonna enjoy it. Easy to unwrap. The smell says maybe a chocolate, not really a peppermint. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. That is one of the best flavors. I thought it was chocolate, and now it's shifting in my mouth. Is it still chocolate? It's like milking out. Is it like s'mores? Hmm. Maybe it's a s'mores. Maybe it's chocolate milk. Chocolate milk feels pretty good right now. Still love that flavor. Great flavor. Let's see. My guess is going to be... Chocolate milk is oddly specific, but I'm going to guess chocolate milk. Hershey chocolate mint. Oh, okay. I thought I had it with Hershey chocolate milk. Hershey chocolate mint. Best one so far, in my opinion. Great flavor. Wow, delicious. Hershey's chocolate mint candy cane. Solid choice. You got a real winner there. I'm going to be eating too much candy tonight. I can tell, but we'll see. Mm hmm. Oh, the mint is coming in as you crunch the candy. It was very chocolatey at first. Now it's getting more minty. Love that flavor. All right, solid green with a little bit of white going on. Again, hoping it's not throw up. It's hopefully more like green apple this time. Green apple could be great. Could be very exciting and promising. You know, I feel as if this will be enjoyable. You know, I was worried about this challenge. Right now we're chilling. You might have uh, might have, might have gone more mild than I was expecting you to. I was thinking these were all gonna be really disgusting flavors. Turns out they're all pretty great so far. So I don't know. That smells very green apple-y. I, I almost want to guess green apple already. Let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. Is that green apple? Hmm. Again, might be losing my sense of flavor, but I'm gonna go with green apple. It could be a little bit of something else. We'll, we'll find out here. Green apple, this is green apple. So ding, ding, ding. I am right with the green apple. Interesting though, I don't know, it tastes green apple-y, but like slightly green apple-y. You know, definitely Hershey's the winner so far for me. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Bite into that green apple one. Oh, it gets tangy and tart and sour. Delicious, so much better when you chew it. Mm. But very, very mm. tangy. I like it. This one looks like it's pointed, like it's a javelin or something there. Hmm. Is there a point with this one? You're trying to get to a certain point. Let's give it a shot. Gonna break a little bit off. Gonna taste a little bit. Gonna let you know. This one is really challenging to open and I'm not sure why. Here we go. Oh God, oh God, that doesn't smell good. This doesn't smell good at all. It could be popcorn or something, uh, but it could be like barf, so. I want to break off a smaller piece. You know what, actually I think it's buttered popcorn. It just smells uh, very unique. I'm just gonna put this whole piece in my mouth a little bit more than I bargained for here. I'll give it a shot. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. I'm standing by buttered popcorn. 
But that's really weird for a candy cane to be buttered popcorn. I think that's probably meant to be a fun, unique one and not so much a delicious one. Not terrible, not terrible by any means, but definitely unique. I, I don't know if I would enjoy a lot more of that. Wow, this one is mac and cheese. I thought it was buttered popcorn, it's mac and cheese. Huh. I don't know if I can taste that. Okay, maybe I could see like a really cheesy. <laughs> it's weird, it's a weird flavor. Uh, not terrible, but I wouldn't go out of my way to try it. I wouldn't try it just for funsies. Well, you might, as long as you don't mind. Mac and cheese flavored candy cane. Next one is red on red, and it's got the Kool-Aid Man. That's that's promising, you know what I mean? Like, that, that should be good, since it's Kool-Aid Man decorated, you know? That, that has to be good signs, you know? Ooh, that smells deliciously good. Probably cherry, we'll find out. Look at that, looks so juicy. Cheers. Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 Yeah. Okay. I stand by cherry. Mm hmm. Nice one. Really great flavor. That's up there for me. One of my favorites. My guess is cherry. Survey says cherry. Ding, ding, ding. What does that put us at? Three? I think that puts us at three. Next up, here's a green one. A solid green with a little bit of white around it. Easy to unwrap this one. Really easy. So let's go ahead and unwrap that and see what we got inside. Yes, why not? That sounds fantastic. This one smells like, I don't know, green apple, sour patch kid maybe. Let's try it. Heck if I know. Uh, green apple again? Maybe green apple again. Let me try that. 7-Up. Oh, okay. I can see that. 7-Up flavored. Wow. That's cool. Unique candy cane for sure. Okay, 7-Up was not bad. Let's try this solid red candy cane. Small one. Solid red. It looks juicy. I feel like this one's going to be tasty. Whatever it is. You know, a small and delicious looking one like this. Got to be good. Smell it first and then... Mmm. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going cherry on this one. I feel like this is a classic one we used to get where it's got a strong flavor to it. Doesn't really, I'm again losing my sense of flavor, I feel like at this point, but cherry seems about right. Strong frontline flavor to it, little kick of the sweetness. But survey says flavor is Swedish fish. Oh, Swedish fish flavor, huh? I can, I can see that too. Yeah, you know what, Swedish fish. That does sound about right. I like that, that's a fun one. Fun choices. There's a lot of really unique candy canes in this bag. I gotta give you some credit here. This one looks like a lot of fun. Look at that solid blue, pink, and some yellow and white drizzled in there. Oh my gosh, gotta give this one a shot. You know I have to. All right, give it a little smell. Ooh, smells like a blue raspberry sucker punch. I like that. Hmm. 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 Oh wow. Tasty. Hmm. Very chewy. Blue raspberry is probably about right. Not extremely strong flavor. Maybe lollipop or I'm gonna go with, I feel like I'm gonna go with blue raspberry. Let me think. Let's stick with blue raspberry, let's see. Birthday cake, oh this is birthday cake flavor, huh? 
Yeah, again, I guess I could see that. Not not too strong, sweet, flavorful, but unique. I need to drink some water. Maybe that'll help me taste a little bit better. Let us continue our crusade through the candies. This one looks like this could possibly be popcorn. Strong white with a little bit of yellow in there. Gonna break off a little piece, let you know what we think, let you know what it is. All here in a moment. Let's smell it first. I'm worried about this one. Worried about it. It smells good. Not sure what it smells like. Lemony. Hmm. 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 Heck, if I know, um, slightly, possibly lemony, probably not lemon by any means, uh, Sprite? Maybe it's a Sprite. I'm trying to get more with the lingo of your flavors. Sprite might be about right, or uh, seltzer. Lemony seltzer, possibly. Pineapple, okay, pineapple. Yeah, I guess I can see that too. Pineapple, not bad. They're tough to guess, they're really tough to guess. Look at this thick one, it's white and green right there. Okay, white and green candy cane. Let's give you a shot, see how you are. I feel like I need to take a break from candy one of these days here. All right, first to smell it. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, I don't know, is it zombie flavored? Let's try it. I feel like this is a bad flavor. It's not, it's not lime, it's a bad, it's bad. <laughs> I wouldn't call it terrible, but it's bad. Um, hmm. Like rotten fruit, um, ugh, it's getting worse. I'm getting worse as I keep going here. Let me bite through it. Mmm. Ugh. Mmm. Oh my god, it's pickle. Oh my god, it's pickle. It's pickle. It's pickle. You sent me pickle. <laughs> you said I eat a pickle, there would be no pickle flavor. Oh my gosh, this is pickle. Ugh. 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 Here we go. Let's read it. Is this pickle? You pickle sender. You pickle. Pickle sender. Oh my gosh. Get out of here with your pickle. Pickle garbage. Ugh. 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 I ate the pickle. What do you want from me? <laughs> I accept it. I accept it. Ugh. Okay. Okay. You sent a gross one. There had to be some gross ones in there. We had to accept. That was coming. I had, that, I had one coming to me. Pickle. Pickle. You went for the pickle. You went for the pickle. Hey, I figured it out though. You gotta give me credit. I bit through there, I'm like, oh, oh, that's pickle. So, alrighty, moving on. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, you're gonna give me a good one to mix it up. Okay, purple Kool-Aid man. Let's go purple Kool-Aid man. God, let's get rid of that taste of that pickle. Oh, this sound smells delicious, like a grape soda or something. That pickle's still gross. Mmm, mm-hmm. Get that grape in there to wash away the pickle. Is it grape? I'm not 100% sure, but it seems like it. I'm still tasting the pickle. Grape, grape is right. Ding, ding, ding. We got a grape, everybody. Grape, that was a grape guess. I gotta say, if you weren't sure, it was a grape guess. Not a raisin guess. It was a grape guess. Water break. You pickle sender. You pickle sender. All right. Warheads. Ooh, sour warheads one. Bite and chew, it says on this one, from Santa. Thank you, Santa. Let's bite and chew this guy. I'm excited for him. Man, I used to love warheads when I was a kid. I don't know if I could take them anymore. I don't know. Hmm, smells good. Let's try a warhead. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Rainbow. Oh my god. Sour is coming around. Mm. 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 
It wasn't too sour. Let me try a little bit more. Maybe I just didn't get all the sourness to it. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. Mmm. The flavor, though, I have no idea. Warhead flavor. I guess Warhead flavor. It does kind of give it away on the wrapper. It says Warheads all over the wrapper. So I'm guessing Warhead, but. Mixed berry Warheads, okay. Mixed berry, I can see that. Mixed berry Warheads. Yeah, that's good. I'll take it. Tasty, thank you. Before I get another Kool-Aid man, let's take this brown one with some white on it. Hopefully it's not as gross as pickle. Ladies and gentlemen, no pickle. No more pickles. We're done with our pickles. We had our pickles for tonight. Ooh, this smells good. It smells like chocolate. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, I would guess that's hot cocoa, but we already got hot cocoa. Mmm. Chocolate milk, maybe? Either a chocolate or like a chocolate milk. I'm gonna guess chocolate milk. Let's see. Oreo. Okay, Oreo. I was a little bit off, but you know, concept is similar. Chocolate milk, Oreo, it's like, you mix some of the chocolate with the milk. You mix the cream with the cookie, right? It's, it's similar, similar stuff. Should I give myself this Kool-Aid one now? This is next in the thing. Here we go, Kool-Aid man, you're next up. Blue Kool-Aid, that looks nice. All right, blue Kool-Aid. Smells good, let's try it. Mm. Oh God, ew, ew, ew. What is that? Ew, ew, is that fish poop? I'm gonna guess fish poop on this one. Is it fish poop? Tropical punch? Why does that taste like fish poop? It tastes like fish poop. <laughs> I don't even know what fish poop tastes like, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe I've had too much candy. Let me rinse it out. Why was that so bad? Okay, I got some more water after the tropical punch and we're off to the next one. It's red with some white stripes in it. Maybe a peppermint this time. I don't know if we did our peppermint yet. I don't think we did. You know, classic, standard, maybe just cotton candy or candy cane standard flavor. Right, peppermint? Uh, let's see what this one is. This smells scary. We're gonna find out. Hmm. 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 Is it a cherry soda, maybe? I'm gonna give it cherry soda. It's not bad, but it's not great. I mean, it's okay. Again, maybe I've just had too much candy. Dr. Pepper. Okay, Dr. Pepper, I was close. Now give me some credit here. Red one with the white stripes, Dr. Pepper, okay. I think I prefer the soda, quite honestly. I think we're down to our final two. This is exciting. This one is pink and white. Pink and white, let's give it a shot. Oh, oh, this doesn't smell good. This does not smell good. This tastes, this smells like Figment's fart. Here we go, skunk. Yeah, yeah. I think skunk is probably what you're going for on that one. It's funny because it's pink. I'm trying to throw this off. Let me bite into it. It didn't really help me get a clearer picture. Mm. I'm sticking with skunk. I think this is skunk flavored. Mm. Bacon. <laughs> bacon flavor. Okay, bacon. I mean, I guess I could see that. Hmm, maybe. The last one is probably the most scary, in my opinion. It is light brown on white. Can you see it? Let me see if I can block my face sufficiently with it for you to see it. Yeah, see, those are, those are the colors of like throw up or like, I don't know, something gross. Um, it could also be s'mores 
or something tasty, but we haven't had a really nasty, well, we had pickle, so. This smells gross. This smells disgusting, okay? Here we go, just for you. What the hell is that? Oh my God. No, the, oh, eh. <coughs> Oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. My guess on that one is gonna be dead fish. I'm gonna guess dead fish. Ew, that was the only one I spat out. It was pretty bad. Um, ew, 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 ew. Okay, let's read what it was. Shall we? From Santa. Thanks, Santa. Clam, okay, clam. This was clam flavored. Yeah. I don't think I was far off on that one, the clam. Yeah, I said dead fish, uh, clam. Pretty close, you gotta give me some credit there. <laughs> clam, okay, thank you. Thank you so much for the clam flavored. Ooh, that one was the worst, and pickle was bad, let's be honest. Now we're at the bottom of the bag. What is at the bottom of this bag? Here's your prize, don't hate me, Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly. Nah. No, it was great. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you had a lot of fun with this. Thank you so much for thinking of me and for sending them all. Definitely would not recommend clam. I would like was was ready to throw up with clam, and pickle was a cheap shot. That was gross. But otherwise, I feel like there was nothing too terrible. You know, uh, bacon wasn't the best, but otherwise they were all pretty good. A tropical punch for some reason I really didn't like it, but otherwise I thought they were all pretty good. How do I open this prize? That's the next question. That clam taste. It's still in my mouth, and it's absolutely rancid. Ew. Clam. It's gross. Gross. And the thing is, some of these are just meant to be foods on their own. Like mac and cheese. Meant to be foods on their own, but then they're so gross if you put them in a candy cane, you know? But I guess that's what you get here. I like the stocking, too. Very nice stocking. Almost through the rope here, and we've made our way. Boom. Ooh. Let's see what's in here. See what you're hiding. I bet you this is like an actual clam. Probably what you're thinking. I don't know if I even want to open this. You wrote, please don't hate me on the outside of it. You're all good. What is in here? Ooh. Something non-edible. Ooh, look at this cute ornament decorations. Oh, and it's gonna be a Marvel character. Could be a, oh, it's gonna be a common, a rare, or super rare. So it could be Hulk, Captain America, Iron Man, Groot, Black Panther, and Spider-Man. Who, so we think it'll be, you know, I love Iron Man. He's probably my first choice, but you probably can't lose with any of these guys. So we're gonna open it up, see what kind of mystery ornament is inside this bag. Here we go. Survey says, I see some red. It's a red character. That leaves Spidey and Iron, right? Spidey and Iron, I think, are the only two options. Here we go. Iron Man! That's awesome. Did you know that Iron Man was in here? Wow, look at that. Perfect. Perfect choice for me. Is he squishy? He's just, like, cute and soft. Not sure what he's made out of, either, but really cute Iron Man ornament. Thank you so much, Kelly, for thinking of me. Fun game. Fun prize. Appreciate you. And thank you all for taking the time to send me some mail, for sharing your thoughts, for watching and being a part of the fun with me. What did you think of today's adventure? If you liked it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to stay informed of future adventures, hit the like button to stay informed, and just to tell me that you liked the video, and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, don't forget, that's our schedule, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You got that, Tony? Yeah, I got that. Until next time, stay positive, make it an amazing day, and we'll see you real soon. Thank you again so much for being a part of it all. We love it. Love sharing it with you. And until next time, play on. Are you in for something disgusting? <laughs> well, I would have said it sounds... Well, I would have said... Ooh, baby, I love the way 
you play those video games. Wanna tell you our video games all day. Hey Dave, you smell. I'm just kidding, doesn't say I smell. Yay! What else am I saying, yay? Ooh, look at all this swag here. Your, Christina for thinking of me, sounds like 28 pre-portioned loose tea. Ugh. Ooh. Mr. Burns is saying, y'all be crazy, y'all be crazy. I ain't never seen a box like that. It's full of candy canes, you know. Yum, 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 yum. Ew, 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 ew. I ain't never seen a box like that. Ew, 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 ew. Here it is. Here we go. Brownish, whitish candy cane. Cheers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Though that is one of the best flavors. I feel like that's chocolate. 